Hello. Um, so it was kind of I was writing this uh, blog post, which this video will sort of be attached, and it was about doing mm, responsive screenshots, uh, but using Nightmare JS. So I sort of came across it yesterday. I can't remember um, how, but um, yeah, I came across it, and a while ago I'd written. Uh, so look. I'd written this uh, responsive screenshots tutorial for um, Touch Plus using Casper, um, and I thought, hey, well, what a good way to kind of explore what I'd done before, um, but using um, using Nightmare JS because it's sort of like Nightmare JS is uh, uh, a high level wrapper for Phantom JS, um, which I haven't I haven't really played with Phantom for a long time. Um, sort of used that responsive screenshot thing for a little while and, and stopped using it and never really went back to it. So I thought, eh, why not? Um, so I'm just going to do like a little screencast just to sort of essentially make a video version of the blog post I'm going to write, which I thought was um, sometimes people prefer videos, sometimes people prefer blog posts. So um, I'm going to make a, a demo uh, directory and inside there. Um, I'm just going to make an index.js. Um, so there's nothing in here other than that. Uh, I'm going to go through npm init. Um, just sort of go through the defaults. All I really want is the package JSON. Obviously, if you're, you know, you, you probably want to be quite fairly familiar with npm at this point. Um, so I'm going to go npm install. Um, Phantom JS, and I'm going to install this globally. Um, it doesn't it doesn't mention that in like the docs unless I skipped over it. But upon reading um, some other stuff about Nightmare JS, um, I think just generally Phantom JS kind of needs to be installed globally uh, if you want to use it within a project. So okay, um, I'm also gonna install um, uh, Nightmare, um, and just for the sakes of being able to uh, uh, push this up, um, I'll save it as well to the package JSON. So installed a bunch of dependencies. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this um, in a Sublime thing. Um, um, whilst I use Vim for I use Vim for like writing. I don't really use uh, Vim for coding. Um, so excuse me. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I've got an index.js. I've got this. So um, I'm so, sort of just really following um, the docs at this point, which is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, require a nightmare. Um, just clear this up. It's a bit nicer. Um, Okay, so uh, I want to require a nightmare. There's a couple of really, um, the, the API is really nice. Um, it's, a, I would say, a little bit nicer than that. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to go new nightmare. Uh, I'm just, uh, if I could share the screen, I'm just looking at the uh, documents here. So create a new uh, instance of nightmare. And then I can just chain the uh, little functions it has, like go to, back, forward, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I'm sort of looking at the um, old tutorial as well to, I suppose, update it. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go to New Nightmare. Um, uh, I'm going to set a viewport. Um, Let's say fourteen forty by nine hundred. It seems like a. I think that's what my current uh, viewport is. Um, let's go to. Um, Reddit. dot com slash r slash space. Is a is a one of my favorite um, subreddits. Uh, then I'm gonna wait, and the reason I'm gonna wait is because 
like I mentioned in a blog post, the internet has kind of a weight problem uh, in terms of it's quite apparently quite heavy. No, I think Reddit should be okay, but the default weight is um, 5,000 milliseconds, five seconds for English, oh, sorry, five seconds for normal people. Um, <clears throat> but you can you could easily put 2,000 if you wanted to just wait two seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to take a screenshot. So far, so good. And I'm going to save it. Let's make a directory called screenshots slash, and I want to take, um, we'll just call this a test for now on, and we'll make it a PNG. So you can put anything you want if you wanted to put a JPEG, if you wanted to make a JPEG, or a uh, GIF if you wanted to make a GIF. Uh, a ping if you want to make a ping. We'll, we'll, we'll make a ping. Ping! You know, in a few years, someone's going to come out and say that we've been pronouncing this wrong because we all call it a ping, and apparently it's going to be called a thing or something. But anyway. Um, and then, so let's the run command according to the um, documentation. Jum, jum, jum. Um, is execute this. It just executes all this code. Um, and it takes a callback function, which for now can just be an anonymous function. Um, and what we'll do is we'll say console. Um, hello. No. Taken screenshot of ready. That will do for now as a test. Um, so I'm in that directory, and if I just node up that, um, it should go out. It should take the screenshot. Boom! Taking the screenshot of Reddit. So look, and it did. There's the there's our ping. Um, I'm going to assume that's the right direct dimensions. Wicked. Cool. Okay. Uh, so in my um, uh, in my blog, in my blog post, I sort of sort of refactored this. Um, so in my previous previous post on on Touch Plus, I had done using system arguments, I think, or something like that. Um, what I can do is just use uh, this process .arg v, uh, which is an array of all the arguments um, passed into the process. I'll I'll give you an example. So. By console.log process.arg v and then over here when I run um, uh, node index.js and I can play a place like argument 1, 2 and 4 and then you'll see here that you get this array. Uh, the first one's always going to be node, the second one's going to be the the file that you're executing, and then the whatever, so on and so on, um, will have um, the arguments that we pass in. So what we can do is, is pass the URL in when we call it. And it means we haven't got to rewrite our script a lot. Um, so we can just say go to URL. Uh, for the viewports, um, what I did was, uh, in the previous uh, tutorial, I had set up an array of uh, an array of arrays, um, an array of viewports, uh, viewport sizes. So let me just go to the tutorial and just copy um, actually what I use because I might as well just reuse that. I think this should be fine. Uh, viewport sizes, uh, an array of arrays. Uh, cool. Yeah. All right. And then um, I set up like this save directory uh, regex, which regexed out. The URL that I passed into and, and sort of named the folder that. So that's that's exactly the same. Okay. So uh, I think for now that this will probably do. If I just do viewport sizes dot um, for each. Uh, function. Uh, 
Okay, and then okay. Let me see what size is for each. Then I can just go. This is the viewport. And then uh, so that viewport there is is the the hour um, each of it will be each of the the this viewport here is each of the viewport arrays pass in there. So I want to do um, width um, uh, yeah. So I just want zero and one of each right so the first and the second if you're all waiting uh, let's make this name a little bit nicer now so our this is where we're going to save it so we might as well save it to our save der um, plus What should we name it? Hmm. Save der. Save der. Uh, plus this. Okay, and then uh, I, I believe the the callback obviously passes an error, and then it passes back the nightmare object. It seems, seems like, and then what we do is see. Let's take a screenshot of URL at um that we'll just leave it. Take a screenshot of URL. No, we'll, we'll we'll say which version, um, what we what uh, viewport we've taken out, viewport zero. Um, yeah, makes sense. I think so. I think so. Cool. Boom. In our run. Oh, it's not going to find a euro called argument too, Sean. Uh, uh, so we go to. Probably don't need the HTTP, but I'm just going to put it in anyway. Uh, let's go to uh, reddit.com slash r slash Unix porn. Sure, get that one right. Um, then it should go through. I mean, fingers crossed. I'm gonna take a drink. Cool, cool, cool. And there we go, people. Yeah, seems to be working. Cool. So that. Seems pretty good. I mean, it's probably not perfect. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Like if you ever look at the Nightmare JS, like um, um, stuff, you could save it to a PDF, which is probably really nice for clients and stuff like that. I really like this idea. I want to get back into using these responsive screenshots. I don't know. Before I had to go through and install a bunch of shit, um, and I think it came up with a little bit more code, maybe. Maybe not, but I like Nightmares JS. Like their the API seems like really nice. Um, yeah, so cool. Check out Nightmare JS, and um, yeah, I'll write this up.